The 1999 semi-final between France and New Zealand was perhaps the greatest ever World Cup game. The mighty All Blacks were in devastating form. Could their French opponents find the free-flowing Gallic flair expected of them? We join the match midway through the first half with the Kiwis leading 6-3. A penalty decision against the French gave the All Blacks the chance to close the gap. Danger here, Cullen flips on to Lemu. Lemu steps outside, cuts inside. He's still not down, he's over! And Lemu breaks the deadlock for the All Blacks. Regains the lead for them, and France look frightened. Mertens, but he puts it a shade. Oh, we'll look up that through the middle, Umonga. But again, the French blue line holds. Mertens, this is dangerous. Wilson back inside to Lobu. Bruze gets a very firm grip on it this time. Says you're going nowhere. Penalty again. And a French hand in the run. That looks good. Oh, it is. Drills it straight through the middle. New Zealand increase their lead 17-10. to La Maison. Wilson right underneath him. This is dangerous. He's got Umana and Lamu. This time now they go for the option back to Wilson. Back inside to Lamu. Pass one, pass two. Here he goes again. Bundling them off and the big man is over for his second try. Over goes the kick. And New Zealand have opened again. 24 10. They are in New Zealand, scored by number 11, Jonah Hoover. Right to do it. Little Dominici getting in there like a flanker, taking it into the 22. Good stuff from the French again. Just composing himself back, it goes to Lamaison. Over it goes, and that's the full set for Lamaison in this match. Try, conversion, penalty drop goal. That drop goal sparked a revival for the French. A second drop goal from Lamaison and two converted penalties brought them back to within two points of the All Blacks at 24 22. Everyone was waiting for the next twist in the game. Umanga, Mertens, Wilson. Wilson decides to go himself. And the French have it. They're like terriers in those rucks at the moment. Dominici, he's going to go in. Dominici scores for France. They take the lead.
La Maison. Over it goes. And now France have a five point lead 29 24. Amazing stuff from the French. In from the side went Maxwell. He only stopped him for a moment, though. The main core of the wall still driving on. They're only five metres short. Back it comes. Lamaison chips over and through it. Dort is there for the try. Richard Dort scores again for France. Kelleher, Mertens, Gibson. Mertens getting it round. Umang has dropped it. Hacked away by Mania. He and Bernard Sal are after it. Mania chases on. Wilson's got a hell of a lot to do. He hasn't done it. Bernard Sal. The try is given. Bernard Sal has surely won this game for France. Claude Dort comes back to milk the applause. France 43, New Zealand 24. Marshall misses out. Wilson wriggles three over, he goes under the post. But we're into injury time almost. Just six seconds left on the clock. Oh, he loses the ball forward. Knows he's got to get the passes away, the French. Desperate to get on it. The game is over! France have beaten the All Blacks. The biggest upset in the whole of Rugby World Cup history. The final result, a sensational France 43, New Zealand 12.